While everyone's arguing about which country has the deadliest military, Japan just dropped a bombshell that's making every defense expert lose their minds. Yes, this is real. And it's more advanced than you've been told. The nation known for sushi and samurai has quietly engineered a mechanical monster so revolutionary, it's practically rewriting the rules of modern warfare. We're talking about the Mitsubishi FX, a sixth generation stealth fighter that makes America's F-22 look primitive. This isn't just another fighter jet story. This is about how a pacifist nation transformed into a technological superpower. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why this single aircraft could spark the next global arms race. But first, you need to know the betrayal that started it all. Most people think Japan can't build offensive weapons. They're dead wrong. After World War II ended with devastating atomic bombings, Japan adopted Article 9 of their constitution. This clause famously renounces war. For decades, this pacifist stance meant relying almost entirely on American protection. Japan bought weapons instead of developing their own. But rising tensions changed everything. China's aggressive expansion, North Korea's missile programs, Japan realized a harsh truth, depending on foreign protection, made them vulnerable. What if America pulled back from the Pacific? What if their alliance shifted? The nation that once conquered half of Asia through military might was quietly planning its return, not through conquest, but through technological dominance that would make enemies think twice. However, Japan's awakening began with an insult so deep it changed their entire military philosophy forever. Something happened that would fundamentally alter Japan's destiny. The US Congress passed the Obey Amendment. This law explicitly forbade exporting America's most advanced fighter jet, the F-22 Raptor. Japan had been counting on purchasing these aircraft to modernize their aging fleet. Suddenly, they were locked out of the world's most sophisticated air defense technology. This wasn't just business gone wrong. This was America telling one of its closest allies, we don't trust you enough to share our best toys. The rejection stung Japanese officials deeply. Decades of loyal alliance, billions spent on American weapon systems. The message was clear. If Japan wanted cutting edge military technology, they'd have to build it themselves. Lockheed Martin eventually quoted $177 million for a watered down F-22 hybrid. Insult added to injury, Japan realized they were being offered an expensive compromise that would still leave them dependent on American technology. That's when Japanese leaders made a decision that shocked the defense world. They would build their own sixth generation fighter from scratch, but this betrayal unleashed something America never saw coming. When Japan announced their own fighter program, defense experts worldwide were skeptical. Could a nation that hadn't built an original fighter in decades really compete with established aerospace powers? The answer came in the most unconventional design decision in modern fighter history. While every other stealth fighter emphasized being small and compact, Japan chose the opposite approach. Their S would be massive. Larger than the already formidable F-22 Raptor. Defense analysts immediately dubbed it the Godzilla FX. The nickname stuck for good reason. This wasn't just a fighter jet. It was a flying fortress designed to dominate vast Pacific distances. The size decision seemed crazy until you understood the genius behind it. Japan's geographic challenges are unique. They need to patrol enormous stretches of ocean, strike targets hundreds of miles away. A large aircraft could carry massive fuel loads and devastating weapon payloads, operating for extended periods without refueling. Critics argued that bigger meant easier to detect. Japanese engineers had a response that left everyone speechless. Revolutionary internal weapon bays, specially engineered air ducts. The FX would be large enough to carry overwhelming firepower while remaining virtually invisible to enemy radar. But size was just the beginning of Japan's rule-breaking approach. The engineering breakthroughs powering the S read like science fiction. But here's where things get really insane. Traditional fighter jets rely on hydraulic systems, networks of pressurized fluid that control flight surfaces and weapons. These systems require bulky, rigid piping that compromises stealth design and adds crushing weight. Japan's solution was radical. Eliminate hydraulics entirely. Replace them with electric actuators. This decision alone reduced the aircraft's weight by 11%. Electric actuators need only lightweight wiring instead of heavy hydraulic lines. Engineers could now optimize every inch of the aircraft's interior. 
The weight savings were reinvested into advanced carbon fiber and aluminum alloys, protected by cutting-edge heat shield technology. But the real game changer? Japan's plasma stealth technology. While other nations struggle with conventional radar-absorbing materials, Japan developed a system that generates a plasma field around the aircraft. This field literally bends radar waves away from the jet, making it appear to vanish from enemy sensors. It's like having an invisibility cloak that works against the most sophisticated detection systems on Earth. The avionics package reads like a techno-thriller. Active electronically scanned array radar doesn't just detect enemy aircraft, it tracks dozens of targets simultaneously while remaining undetected. Passive radio frequency sensors eavesdrop on enemy communications without revealing the aircraft's presence. Infrared search systems detect heat signatures from enemy jets trying to hide in darkness. Thanks to gallium nitride semiconductors, these systems operate with efficiency levels that seemed impossible just years ago. Yet, even this revolutionary technology pales compared to Japan's most ambitious innovation. Japan's most groundbreaking development might be their approach to unmanned combat. While other nations build drones as separate platforms, Japan is creating loyal robotic wingmen. They operate alongside the air as an integrated combat system. These aren't remote-controlled aircraft. They're artificial intelligence-powered hunters that can think, adapt, and fight independently. Two types of companion drones are in development. The first specializes in reconnaissance and target acquisition, extending the air sensor range far beyond what any single aircraft could achieve. The second focuses on active defense, deploying countermeasures and intercepting incoming missiles before they threaten the manned fighter. Together, they transform the FX from a single aircraft into a networked combat swarm. This approach reflects Japan's cultural sensitivity about casualties. The trauma of Hiroshima and Nagasaki created deep national reluctance to risk human lives in combat. By developing AI wingmen that handle the most dangerous missions, Japan can project overwhelming force while keeping pilots safely out of harm's way. The AI systems governing these drones represent years of machine learning development. They process sensor data faster than human pilots, react to threats in milliseconds, coordinate complex attack patterns without radio communication that enemies could intercept. When the FX and its robotic companions work together, they create combat capability that no existing air defense system was designed to counter. But Japan wasn't finished revolutionizing warfare. If the FX's conventional capabilities weren't intimidating enough, Japan is developing directed energy weapons that sound like pure science fiction. We're talking about laser systems capable of destroying incoming missiles, microwave weapons that disable enemy electronics, potentially even particle beam weapons that could cripple entire enemy formations. These aren't experimental technologies stuck in laboratories. Japan is committed to integrating directed energy weapons into operational aircraft, giving them capabilities no other fighter jet in the world possesses. Picture this. An enemy missile races towards the FX at supersonic speed, only to be vaporized by a laser beam before completing its attack. Enemy radar systems suddenly going dark as microwave weapons fry their sensitive electronics from hundreds of miles away. The implications are staggering. Traditional air combat involves launching missiles and hoping they reach targets before enemy countermeasures intercept them. The FX flips this equation entirely. Using energy weapons that travel at light speed and can't be outmaneuvered or confused by traditional countermeasures. Enemy pilots would face weapons that arrive instantly and strike with surgical precision. Japan's directed energy research benefits from their world-leading position in semiconductor technology and precision manufacturing. Companies that produce cutting-edge electronics for civilian markets now apply expertise to military applications. The result? Weapon systems with power and efficiency levels that would have been impossible without Japan's unique industrial capabilities. This convergence of breakthrough technologies creates something unprecedented in military history. Here's what makes the FX truly terrifying for Japan's enemies. It's not just one revolutionary technology. It's the fusion of every breakthrough into a single, unstoppable weapon system. Plasma stealth makes it invisible. Electric actuators make it agile. AI wingmen make it multiply. Directed energy weapons make it unbeatable. Massive size makes it dominant over vast Pacific distances. Traditional military thinking focuses on numbers. Believing quantity can overcome quality. The S program proves that sufficiently advanced technology can neutralize numerical disadvantages and project power far beyond what conventional wisdom suggests possible.
enemy forces planning to overwhelm Japan through sheer numbers would find themselves facing weapon systems that engage multiple targets simultaneously, react faster than human operators, strike with precision that eliminates the need for massive destructive force. The FX demonstrates how a nation with limited military experience can leapfrog established powers through focused technological development. Japan didn't try to match America's decades of fighter evolution step by step. Instead, they identified weaknesses in current designs and engineered solutions that skip entire generations of incremental improvement. Other nations are already scrambling to respond. Defense contractors worldwide study Japan's innovations, trying to incorporate similar technologies into their programs. But reverse engineering breakthrough technology is far more difficult than developing it from scratch. The FX program represents far more than military modernization. It signals Japan's return as a global technological superpower. For decades, Japan produced aircraft under American licenses with limited autonomy. Even their F-2 fighter was heavily influenced by U.S. political considerations and technical requirements. This time is different. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries leads the FX program with complete autonomy. The aircraft reflects Japanese innovation, engineering excellence, and national pride. Foreign partners contribute expertise in supporting roles, but Japan maintains absolute control over design, production, and export decisions. It's a declaration of technological independence that rivals struggle to comprehend. Regional power dynamics are already shifting. China's aggressive expansion in the South China Sea suddenly faces a counter that could neutralize their numerical advantages through technological superiority. North Korea's missile threats look less intimidating when confronted by aircraft capable of intercepting launches before they reach targets. Even Russia's advanced air defense systems would struggle against stealth technology and directed energy weapons they weren't designed to counter. In a world where military superiority increasingly depends on technological innovation rather than troop numbers or defense spending, Japan has demonstrated that nations with advanced industrial capabilities can compete with global superpowers. What started as frustration over being denied access to American technology has evolved into a technological renaissance that rivals struggle to match, from a pacifist nation dependent on foreign protection to an aerospace innovator developing weapons that seem pulled from science fiction. Japan's transformation represents one of the most remarkable military developments of the modern era. The Mitsubishi FX isn't just Japan's answer to regional security challenges, it's a blueprint for how future military powers will project strength in an increasingly complex world. The question now isn't whether Japan can defend itself, it's whether anyone else can keep up with the technological revolution they've unleashed. Here's the most fascinating part. Japan accomplished this transformation, not through military aggression, but through the same qualities that made them a post-war economic miracle, precision engineering, technological innovation, and relentless pursuit of perfection. They've proven that in the 21st century, the pen truly is mightier than the sword, or in this case, the semiconductor is mightier than the missile. What do you think about Japan's remarkable journey from pacifist nation to cutting edge military innovator? Could their technological approach become the new standard for how smaller nations compete with global superpowers? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the military technologies reshaping our world.